Action! We're just making an ordinary adventure here, ordinary fantasy. Nothing extraordinary happens in this picture at all. These kids are all kind of like friends. They're all sort of outcasts. They need each other because the uh, more popular kids don't want anything to do with them. And they get bored one day and they have the most extraordinary adventure that any adult could possibly imagine. Hi everyone, my name is Alex and today we are in Astoria, Oregon, one of the coolest little known towns, beach towns here in Oregon. We're in the tippy top left corner of the green wide state of Oregon in Astoria because today we are going to the Goonies house in particular where Mikey and Brand's house is used in Astoria. The movie The Goonies is based in Astoria. Whoa, <laughs> I'm on a dock right now on Pier 39. I've never actually been here. There's like a, a rogue house back here. There's a scuba diving shop back here. There's the ocean right here. We're actually in a, a little bay right now. Behind me is the tiny little yet beautiful town of Astoria. And we're gonna try to make our way up to Sean Astin's home, not his actual home, but Mikey's home. But most particularly, the Goonies house, probably one of the most famous houses of all the 80s movies is filmed here in Astoria. Whoa, 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 hold the press. Right now, this is the main stretch of highway in Astoria. We're coming off here on 37th Street, which is the way up to the Goonies house. But right here, I wanted to show you guys this. I mean, for the longest time, was actually a little corner store, a mini mart, and it was used in a actually sadly deleted scene in the Goonies. And what you see the Goonies going, they're grabbing sweet treats, and then you see Troy come in, and I hated Troy as a kid. Come in, he's being rude to the Goonies, they run out, and then they go back to the house. Uh, it was cut out from the final picture. If you have the DVD, there's like bonus footage where you gotta see it. I'll put a clip in right now showing you guys the store scene. But it's cool because right here is a street you head up to the Goonies house, but on the same street on the corner. There's another scene from the Goonies, which you rarely ever see movies have set locations that close. Usually it's across a state or a country or a city. It's right here. And this is weird. Uh, the road behind me is Leif Erickson, which is from SpongeBob. And I thought that was a made up term. <laughs> and I guess it's, it's actually real. Sadly, it's closed right now. I took you guys in there and they used to have a sign that said the shop was using the Goonies. I guess I took it down. I think the owners may have sold the original business and now it's a coffee house of sorts. And they sell little bags of coffee. Peter McKinnon would love this. You can get Astoria coffee out of a, out of a vending machine. Okay, so now we're gonna go up to the Goonies house off of 37th Street. All right, so we're heading up 37th Street. We took a left at the end of the street, and right here, I can see it now, is the Goonies house, right there in all of its glory. Very awesome, and they repainted the house. This is looking really nice. Right there, we see Mikey and Bran standing, all the leaves are falling, you can see Astoria. What a cool view from down here. And uh, yeah, usually they had a sign right over here talking about the Goonies and you can respectfully visit the home. I'll see if we can head up there. If not, right there is uh, the Walsh family home. Mikey and Bran live there. Data right across the street. Mouth and Chunk come over. So cool. Yeah, there used to be this huge billboard right here with the silhouettes of all the Goonies and Sloth and saying you can come up and take pictures. But it says private drive, do not enter, ooh. I hope I can go up there. <laughs> so right there is the Astoria Bridge. And then uh, this is the walkway up to uh, the house. And I take it, this sign is just saying like, yeah, come on up with your feet. There's a sign up here that says foot traffic only, so please don't drive your cars up here. But you can make your way up to your childhood memories to the newly renovated Goonies home. Oh, that is so insanely epic. Wow. I haven't been here probably for three years. It looked nothing like this. It looks a lot better, more inviting and friendly than it used to. 
Yeah, right here, foot traffic only. You can uh, walk up and check out the Goonies home. So just to help you guys out, we are just right there at the bottom of the street. You come up 37th Street, take a left, you get to this end of the street. There's a bunch of bushes right here. And you just walk on up and uh, say hello to the Goonies. Yeah, this is awesome. I would always consider The Goonies probably my favorite movie of all time. A lot of people always say, oh, it's my favorite movie, but I truly do consider Goonies as like the gold star movie, and then you got like one, two, and three. I even went to outdoor school. I was a counselor. The kids I was counseling, we were the Goonies. I made them headbands with the Goonies. I wasn't even actually planning on making this video today. We had to get out of the house. Times are crazy. And we were coming through Astoria. I had my camera and like it just, you just gravitate, grav you just gravitate towards the Goonies, especially as an Oregonian. I've lived in Oregon my whole life. I grew up watching the Goonies. It's a big part of my life. And then, you get to see the frickin' house from the movie. Steven Spielberg was here, Sean Astin, Josh Brolin, the man, Thanos himself, Corey Feldman. It's amazing, and I'll point out some things from the movie that you can actually see here in Astoria, Oregon. So, first off, there actually was in the movie a fence lining this whole direction, this whole front area of the home. Since then, it's been redone with gravel. They're looking like, oh, they're kind of renovating. I like it. Adding a little bit of construction, some bricks over there. And at this point, I do believe that Data's house was right here. You see the little girl come out on her little bike. When all the Goonies run, they pop Bran's tires. Well, actually, they just release the air from it. He comes out, he takes her off the bike, and right here, you see Josh Brolin pedaling down this gravel hill, which would have been terrifying. Where I'm standing is where I'm pretty sure they placed a the camera for establishing shots. So technically, I'm in the same place Steven Spielberg has once stood. And sadly, this is 2020, which is a bummer anyways. This is the 35th anniversary for the Goonies, which came out in the summer of 1985. On June 7th, it was gonna be a whole Goonies day. The mayor of the town announced it. There was a huge celebration going on in the jail uh, courthouse here that was filmed in the Goonies where you see the Fratellis break out. Stars from the movie were gonna come. We were gonna have a huge celebration up here at the house. I was gonna film the whole thing. It was supposed to be a three-day event and then Corona shut down the whole world. <sighs> and it got canceled. It's nice to be up here with you guys. And it's cool. I, I just wish we could have been in celebration. Hopefully next year they'll have that. And doing a little bit of research from my sources, I'm pretty sure right here is where we see Chunk do the truffle shuffle you got mikey and mouth standing up in the front porch right there there's a door they bust into brands working out in the living room and then their bedrooms would have been right up there but right there chunk is doing the truffle shuffle all of mikey's contraptions have of course been since removed but also over here on the side porch is where we see mikey down and bummed contemplating life because he was just told their house may be destroyed Bran comes out and then you got all those like way too many leaves falling off from somewhere. I think there's just a few guys up on the roof dumping buckets of leaves. And uh, it's a nice overview shot of Astoria, which has now been blocked up by uh, the wildlife. I gotta say, Richard Donner did a fantastic job working with Chris Columbus, Steven Spielberg on the story, and the whole entire movie. It's awesome because they actually shot the Goonies Mostly in sequence, which is they start from point A, so the start of the movie, and then filmed every scene the next day essentially. Because most movies, you, you can start at the end, you go to the front, then you, you go back to the middle, then you go back to the end and filming, and it's always confusing. And you can just kind of tell when movies are shot in sequence, it just flows better. And The Goonies is no exception to that. All right, I'm heading out. It's getting really warm actually, and it's never, ever sunny here in Astoria, or really on the Oregon coast, which is weird because it's a beach. Very cool. Uh, I didn't see the owners. A family 
And a big white minivan from Iowa just tried to drive up and they got stuck, so, you know, just just be careful if you want to come up here. Remember to be respectful. Don't ever go up to the house because people actually live there. It's not vacant or a museum. So, you know, if that was your house, I don't think I'd want people showing up in the middle of the night taking pictures at the Goonies house. All right, so right there is the Goonies house. And then if you do a 180, right over here is where they filmed the outside of the school in Kindergarten Cop starring our boy Arnold. That is awesome. We're going to go over and check that out. Totally forgot that they used the exterior of the elementary school for Kindergarten Cop, which is a walk, maybe like three blocks, from the Goonies house. Yeah, we are making our way downtown, heading towards Kindergarten Cop. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! So uh, right there, that's the Goonies house. We're just uh, we're just chilling, going over to Kindergarten Cop. I feel awesome up here. This is sweet. I'm gonna drive by these people and say hi. This is fun. Hi, hi. <laughs> oh, here's a bridge. And uh, here. This is the exterior, which is now under construction, but uh, used in Kindergarten Cop. Very cool. Oh man, look at that. Arnold Schwarzenegger was possibly never out here, because I'm sure they just sent a, a B team to come and film it, but that's yeah, pretty cool. Movie history. Look at that. Man, your childhood is alive here in Astoria. They are totally redoing this place, which is awesome. They have money, because I think most of Oregon is broke right now. <laughs> Very sweet. Look at this. The John Jacob Astoria. I don't know if it's a middle school or a high school. An elementary school. I want to say the John Jacob Jinkelheimer Smith. John Jacob Jinkelheimer Smith. His name is my name too. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. They have really harvested a lot of tourism here, having two filming locations. Right over there is the Goonies house, and here's the kindergarten cop school. What was once the Clatsop County Jail from 1914 to 76 stood in in the opening break-in scene of the film, which we see the Fratellis break out of jail, hop in their Jeep, burn the front part of the jail here, and then speed out through town in Astoria, and they shot a little bit of a, a breakout scene in Cannon Beach. But this is like the opening scene of the Goonies right here, which is now the Oregon Film Museum, and you can actually go in and see the same cell that they used in the movie. I'm not sure if it's open right now. I do believe so. With everything with these masks, you just never know. But I'm gonna show you guys some of the matching scenes from the Goonies. This is very cool. So right about here, we see Francis waiting in his super cool black Jeep Cherokee waiting for his brother Jake to come on out. Oh no, I think she's closing the museum. No. Uh, but right here, yeah, is a, a cool little low shot that they filmed through the car. St. Francis. And then we're gonna let's go over here, which is, uh, not wait, the Fratellis. The Fratellis are out. They're here somewhere. <laughs> They're running around town. That fits perfectly because this is you know, where they break out of jail. Never mind. <laughs> you then see Jake coming out through these open doors. It's a nice backing dolly shot. He's coming, he's running out of the county jail right here. Use this front door. All right, the group just left, so we are heading in to the jail. Welcome to the Goondocks, never say die. Goonies never say die. Life of a pirate for me. The Cory Feldman connection. <laughs> Whoa, this is awesome. Is this how all oh, these all connected to the different... I actually have no idea what this means. It's like the Kevin Bacon Six Sense type of thing. That's cool. Anywho, I wanted to come because right over here, 
is the opening scene of the Goonies, actually right about here. You see the door open up, the guard coming in. The camera follows him, it's a tracking shot, tracking shot, tracking shot. Turns left, and then it starts down low, and we see Jake's feet. It pans up and it stops right about here in that second bunk. Zoomed out and we see all oh, the pipe. I'm gonna come in. Oh, this is so cool. I don't know if this is the actual pipe. You schmuck, did you really think <laughs> I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? There's a sign we see him wearing and then the pipe contraption he made so he actually wasn't hanging himself. So this is pretty sweet. You can actually just step in. And then right here, I don't know how they put the camera in here, but this is very cramped. You get a shot right here, seeing the guard walking up. Hi, Steven. It's good to see Spielberg over there. Walking in. He looks up. And then we get a nice low shot of Jake again. Knocks him out. He falls to the ground. And then that's the opening scene of the Goonies. This is very cool. So yeah, right behind me again is the jail scene. The cell we see the opening sequence of the Goonies begin. It's very cramped in here. So cool that Steven Spielberg, Chris Columbus, Richard Donner, all the stars are actually in this town, in this jail cell. Or not the jail cell, but you know, in the, in the jail. Very sweet. And this actually was a real jail. And I wonder if Arne Lewis was actually uh, someone that was in this cell. Maybe this was his bunk. Weird. Well, we've made the long trek from the county jail all the way over here to the Flayville House Museum because this is also an opening shot of the Goonies. You see the boys right down the street, actually from this point of view right here. It's a little bit wide out. And then you see Mikey's dad, Mr. Walsh, up there as a curator of the museum taking down the American flag for the day. Because, you know, that's what you do. You respect the flag. That is very awesome. So yeah, right here, actually right by this pole, you see Mikey and Mouth come on down on their bikes. Let's get on by, he says hi to his dad. This is, yeah, in the movie, the house is a little bit darker on the top half of it. I think there is a purple trim painted on it. Now it's just a, uh, well, it's kind of scary looking, honestly, but super cool. And it's like, you know, there's the county jail. There's the main street of town, Marine Drive. And then uh, the museum right here. All right, guys, it is later in the day. I am now in Cannon Beach, Oregon, 45 minutes south of Astoria to see... Uh, there's not a lot of people around me. Ah, uh, uh, another filming location from the Goonies. I couldn't breathe in that thing. Oh, my gosh. This is a car chase scene we see on the beach with that huge, awesome race with all the Jeeps and the trucks, which I wish was still a thing. Sadly, you know, laws, politics, doesn't happen anymore, but they did film that car chasing here at Cannon Beach. And actually, right in front of me, we see where the Fratellis come onto the ocean. Front line. Onto the beach, not onto the ocean. Right here is where we see their Jeep Cherokee pull off. The building has since been totally renovated. I'll get down low to do a matching shot. But you see the Fratellis drive on to the sand right here, and then they kick it on over out and you can see Haystack Rock which is right there. So right here is the exact shot where you can see the Fratellis coming on to the beach. It's only there for a split second but the building's re redone completely in front of us. This used to be, it looks like an apartment but the yellow paint is still there after all these years, 35 years later. Right here, Fratellis come onto the beach and then the camera's actually shot put right there we get a nice pan to the right over seeing Haystack Rock, which has been now blocked by all the sand just added here. Word of the wise, never touch any water coming from any source into the ocean on the Oregon coast because it's either like sewer water or runoff water. So stay healthy and just, just go to the ocean. And then from right here, we get a pan to the right and we get to see Haystack Rock for the first time in the Goonies. And then all the cars are lined up here on the shore as the Fratellis join the car race on the beach and then they're off and then that's all that's filmed here 
at Cannon Beach. My name is Alex. I have had such a good time filming all these things for you guys. I apologize if I was talking fast at any point. It's usually when I saw someone walking and I was like, ah, I've been inside for like three or four months. It's hard like being outside again, but it's so much fun getting out with you guys. I had a lot of fun. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, ring the bell notification, leave a nice comment of what your favorite Goonies quote is. It's been a pleasure. I will see you guys sometime in the future, possibly here again. I'm sure of it. We love the Oregon coast. It's a blast. Have a good day, you guys, and remember to take it easy. Not on their Marxies. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. Aussies. Okay, we go against these. Oh, well, I mean, you know, woo -hoo, you know? Yeah, get, grab his hand. He goes, because so, he's not expecting. Yeah, yeah, now you're screaming, you're screaming, you're screaming. Brandy, not gonna believe it. The thing I was starting on, I was gonna go in this thing, and this thing was happening. She said, and almost touched me in the face with dead fish, and the things, and the thing, scared that. Action. Oh, I, it is the most difficult thing I ever thought I was gonna get into. I never anticipated what it was gonna be like, because individually, they're wonderful. They're nuts. They're, uh, they're the warmest, craziest little things that have come into my life. But in a composite form, you get them all together, and it's mind-blowing. It's rewritten. All right, now listen. You guys know what we're doing? Yes. Yes, okay. he's got a plan. What is I've the plan? plan? All right, now shut up, man. Shut up. Booty trap. You know where this takes place? Yes. Where? Turn off. Turn over. What are the two candies you're buying? We were what are the names? Water. What are the names? You are a good kid. Ready? Wait, wait, wait for action. Hang on. Do it. Stay with what you're reading. Practice, rehearse with what you're going to do. Rehearse with your props. Where are you going to be? Get your mark. Be there. Concentrate is right. Thank you. Now act. Now think. I'm serious. When he comes on you, you've just finished one. Take the last lick, put it back, look for another one. When he leaves, you found it, you go up to get up and get up. Huh? All right. Yeah. Raise your right hand. Your right hand. You got it. Here we go. You ready? Dick. Huh? Dick, is this time for real? What you gonna do? Dick, this time for real? For real. Okay. And yet, it's probably the most gratifying experience because there's an odd sort of a way. Uh, a lot of their energy and excitement is rubbing off on me. And uh, it's it's very, very, very gratifying. Actually, when you break the script down with a, with a creative group that I got like this, I've got from Mike Riva doing the sets and, and, and Nick McLean on camera and this wonderful crazy group of kids and Spielberg looking over my shoulder all of the time, which I happen to love because I guess he's the biggest kid of them all and comes up with the best ideas. Um, I, I just think there's there's not looking at it and saying I want one particular thing. It's uh, it's all it's all delicious. It's all uh, ice cream dessert for me. They're all uh, every scene seems to be wonderful. I don't like the scenes with the adults. Oh, hey you guys, I recognize these people. What? Wait, wait, wait. Hey. Well, I'm just the ordinary nice mother of two <laughs> extraordinary nasty boys. No, well, you don't strike me as an actor. It's a nice part of it. It's just everything I've seen you do hasn't been acting. It's, it's the two of you together are just wonderful. I mean, you don't strike me as actors. Have you acted before? Okay, Have you well, been in films or anything? Was nice no. <laughs> Show them the tattoo. Oh, I have a tattoo. Mom was in the Navy. Okay, do it again. Come on, Mama. You got you in good shape today? Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. I think I need some dirt on me. You know, oh, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't, know. I didn't realize. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. Where's, uh, where's Sean? I never let the kids see this boat. They were banned from the stage, from day one, from the start of its construction. And then the day uh, they were supposed to come out of the chute, hit the water, and turn around and see the boat for the first time, they, I brought them all in, not blindfolded, but with their backs to the camera. They all knew what they were going to see, but they had no idea what it was going to look like. And so on film, when they turn and see the boat for the first time,
I never really looked at Goonies. Maybe I made a mistake. I never saw it as a, as a fantasy or a fairy tale. It's a, uh, it's a true story. We just happened to be documenting the lives of a group of kids in a little town in Astoria, and the kids call themselves the Goonies.